Hi, it's a lipstick gal. Thanks so much for watching today. I picked up some new lipsticks. Okay, some of these are legit new, new, and other ones are new-ish. New formulas that were released this year, and I haven't tried yet, so let's jump into it. I'm gonna start with the least expensive. And the least expensive is this new Fenty Gloss Balm Stick. So this is Fenty's answer to all of those really beautiful glossy like lip gloss in tube form i love that this actually twists up and twists down i love that we're not getting something that is like only like click up i am so tired of this sort of packaging tired elf does it nyx does it about face does it tart does it I am tired of that. I want something different. So the packaging is beautiful. I like the pentagonal sort of um, packaging that we have. I like that the color of the packaging matches the color of the lipstick. Um, that is fantastic. And this is the shade Riri. Ooh. Okay, it's very, very glossy. It feels very thick and plush on the lips. It also has a very strong scent that I can't quite place, but it reminds me of my childhood, so it's probably smelling like a candy, but I can't quite put my finger on it. And maybe because it's kind of like this kind of slightly cooler, mauve shade, it makes me think of grapes, but it doesn't really smell like grape candy. I feel like this is a really beautiful color. I initially started with the one, was it called Glazed Donut? It was too fair. I mean, it almost was like concealer lips on me and it was like a milky pale, pale pink. And I was like, oh, I didn't like the way I looked in it. Could I have worn it? Yeah. Would I have reached for it? Nah. So I went back and I got this. I almost picked up um, the one in Fussy, but I was like, no, let's go for Riri. This is a really pretty color. I feel like I don't have a ton of kind of more cooler berry tones. And I think this is beautiful. I can already tell though that this is gonna be the sort of lip product that is gonna wear best for me and my nearly 50 year old lips with a lip liner. Yeah, I can already see it just a little bit going like, it's kind of like finding the lines. So this is one of those that if you have mature lips or um, you like to cheat your lip liner just a little bit, I do that all the time, I think that this would pair really well with one of those gel liners that's gonna kind of create a barrier and keep everything on the inside. But I like the way it feels. I don't smell it right now, but it's kind of like a artificially sweet scent. If you're sensitive to scents, you may not want this. I almost can't believe that I purchased this. This is the new matte formula from MAC. This is called the Maximal Matte Formula. And I picked up a shade that I've loved forever, but in the traditional retro matte, I couldn't wear anymore. And that was the shade Ruby Woo. <laughs> I love a red and I always loved this red. I got to the point though where even in my 30s, my lips started feeling dry and tortured. They just couldn't handle Ruby Woo anymore. I know that it's such a famous and well-loved shade, but my lips just could not handle the Retro Matte formula. So this new Maximal Matte is really interesting to me, but enough chatting, let's put her on. Okay, yeah, I can already tell. This is a very different formula. This might be the reason that I'm willing to spend $25 on a MAC lipstick again, because it's gliding, it's very comfortable. Let me finish putting this on. This feels like a completely different type of lipstick. There is a creaminess to it while it still does have that matte appearance. I kind of feel it drying down just a hair. I don't know if that's all up here or whether it's actually doing that, but it doesn't feel quite as creamy as it did as I was applying it. But what I liked is that it wasn't dry. It wasn't grabbing and skipping and skittering across the surface of my lips like the old Retro MAC formula used to do. I feel like this actually glides on really nicely. I love the opacity of this. The question is, how does it wear? And in four hours, what do my lips feel like? Um, if you have tried this new Maximal Matte Lipstick Formula from MAC, what are your thoughts? Um, are you glad that they re-released you know, some of your favorite shades in a formula that's a little bit easier on the lips? I felt like it was time for an update for the MAC Matte Lipsticks. This I think is a, a good addition, but it all comes down to how it wears. And in a try-on like this, 
I really don't know yet, but I will update you for sure. I ended up picking up another Clinique lipstick. This is one that I picked up for half off on National Lipstick Day. Also got a good deal on this. This was $17.50 on National Lipstick Day. That's kind of why I picked these up. Um, because I've already tried this new formula, the pop formula from Clinique. But what I didn't realize at the time was when they first came out, I went and I got one. I was like, oh, I'm so excited. And I got a shade that I thought was going to be really easy to wear, but it's a shimmer shade. They have shimmers, they have mattes, and satin. So I decided, you know what? Let's go for something completely different. Let's get the satin formula. I love a berry tone like this. This is the shade Cola Pop. Okay, I already love this. I love this kind of berry, but with a hint of brown. It's very much a 90s sort of lip. Oh, she's so pretty. This one is a little bit more expensive than the first two. The first two are normally $25 a piece. This one's $26. I remember, and this is going to tell you how old I am. I remember picking up Clinique lipsticks for $15 and then later $16.50 and then later $18. I remember when they were still under 20 and now that it's 26, I'm like, no, but I feel like this satin formula is the type of lipstick that if I was buying a high end lipstick, but not a luxury lipstick, this is the type of formula I would want where there's quite a few shades in the satin formula where there's nothing that's too like out there i although i love bright and bold pigmented shades a shade like this even though it can really be dark and vampy if i really pile it on is kind of like a workhorse because it has a little bit of warmth and brown to it it does have that little bit of berry it's really beautiful it's also really comfortable on the lips but it's not so emollient that i'm worried that it's going to start traveling would I pair this with a lip liner for all day wear? Probably. I feel like I've known Clinique lipsticks long enough to know that this is probably going to wear well. Probably wear for four, maybe four and a half hours. You need to reapply after a meal. I almost feel like I can kind of foretell what this is going to be like just by the way it feels on the lips as well as what my experience has been in the past. I've been buying Clinique lipsticks since I was 14 and now that I'm 49, that's what, 35 years of buying lipstick from the same brand. Um, I really, really, really wanted to get one that I was going to use because this other one that I have, although it looks really pretty in the tube, it's the pearl in here that I don't love. It's just got just a little, and it's hard to see, but there's a little bit of shine to this. Um, I like the way that it feels on the lips. And if I'm wearing the right look, it looks okay, but on its own, it's kind of weird. And this right here is the one in Colourpop. I really, really like this color. I think this is going to be one of those that's going to get a lot of use come this fall. I like the formula and I really love the redesign of their packaging. This metallic green is so much fun. The last lipstick I have for you is the new version of the Guerlain Rouge. Okay. I said I wasn't going to buy one of these and here it is. Now, the one thing that I'll tell you is I have one of the ones from many, many moons ago before they started having like kind of fashion cases where every single one came packaged like this where it had you know the standard double mirror and a magnetic closure where it pulls itself in okay when they stopped making this and every single one came with its own case and they started selling things separately they sold you the lipstick and they sold you this it's no longer magnetic, but now you have to push it in. So I feel like we're losing some of the elegance. The first one ever that I got, this is probably more than like a decade old, is really heavy and weighty. This is also heavy and weighty, but this is the one that was recently um, replaced. I feel like the packaging here is stunning. This is one that I picked up in December so I could get prepared for my luxury lipstick showdown. And I really like the Rouge G formula. So when I realized in February that they had come out with a reformulation of the formula and a whole bunch of new caps, I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. And then my curiosity got the better of me. So I had to pick one up. Now, the one thing that I'll tell you is when I was shopping on Macy's website, every single one of their designer caps was $38. And every tube of lipstick was 42. So you buy this individually in its own unit carton, and this comes in its own unit carton. It does come with a little little black velvet bag so that when you have the lipstick all together, you could carry it like this in your purse. 
Um, but the one thing I'll tell you is I was a little disappointed that they specifically mentioned that this case will not fit any of the old bullets. So if you have one of the older bullets, it doesn't actually fit in here. They're forcing you to buy the new bullets. Some of the shades are brand new, but they do have a lot of the same shades as before. But I was just a little bit bummed to discover that, you know, the old one, the first one that I got is magnetic and heavy and weighted. This one's a little bit lighter, is not magnetic. And this will not fit into the old case. You can't just use, I was like, oh look, I won't have to buy a case from one of, I'll just buy a lipstick and it'll fit in here. It goes in, but it doesn't stay because it's not magnetized like the old ones were. Okay, fine. And now I can't use any of the components for this for the new lipsticks. What a shame. To me, that is unfortunate. All right, now that I got that off my chest, <laughs> I'm no longer complaining about how you can't use old packaging with new lipstick tubes. Let's put this on. This, by the way, is shade number 521 Legrige Rosé. This is the satin formula. I decided that I wanted to pick up a satin. Oh, it's so glidy, it's so comfy. This is stunning. It's very, very emollient. It's very comfortable. It feels very nourishing on the lips. This is supposed to have, the box says it's supposed to have satin radiance, high wear, 18 hour comfort, smoothing care with Lily Oleo extract. I really feel like this definitely has that very much luxury satin lipstick feel where it has a nice emollient, but it's not too greasy, it's not too slippy, but it does have a nice feel. It's not terribly plush and cushy, but it does really feel like it would offer some nourishment and conditioning to the lips. I feel like this is a really pretty everyday sort of shade. I feel like the mirror in here though is not as nice. It's, it, it's a, little, a little bit like a funhouse mirror. I do feel like the lipstick is lovely. I, I am so bummed though that the price has gone up and then on top of that, it's not quite as luxurious as it used to be. I mean, because the one that I have from more than a decade ago, um, I don't really use it anymore, but I keep it because I want to see what it's like and how things change. And it's interesting to see how this component doesn't work with this and this component doesn't work with this. And they're always trying to get you to spend just a little bit more. But I did, so... <laughs> I guess I should stop complaining. I think this is gonna be one of those lipsticks that's gonna be very easy to wear on a day when I'm going full glam, on a day when I want something a little bit lighter weight. I do feel like there's enough hydration to this that my lips are not gonna get dry. They're not gonna get unhappy. I, I don't know how well it would last through meals because it feels a little bit like it's on the thinner side. I'm not mad that I picked this up. My curiosity definitely has, you know, so I've scratched that itch. I needed to know. <laughs> I needed to know. And I feel like it would have been easy for me to go in store, but there is no place that is close to where I live. Like even my closest Macy's is more than an hour's drive from my home. And my closest Macy's is a small enough Macy's that they don't have a gear lawn counter. So there would be no way for me to find out. I didn't want this video to go out without me having a chance to swatch and apply this for you. This is from Violette French. This is the Bizu Balm, and I have been so curious about this. They reached out and asked if they could send me one. I was like, absolutely. Um, and this, I think, is the new shade. This one's called Bonbon Coquelicot. It's a sheer matte lipstick. So obviously, another day. <laughs> but I'm really curious to see what this is like on the lips. This is a really interesting formula. I feel like I could continue to apply and apply and never end up getting too much because one swatch is like this. I mean, do you see how sheer it is? Um, and if you're trying to build it up, I feel like, you know, I'm just going over and over and over and over and over the same spot. It's still really sheer. Isn't that intriguing? Let's take a quick look and see what the website says about it for the formula. So the website describes it as a sheer matte lipstick meets hydrating balm with a flush of color and subtle blurring effect for a just been kissed lip look. Yes, I feel like this definitely has that look of 
just been kissed lips you know just a little bit of color a little bit of flush not too much I like how even if I'm really 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 piling it on it's not too much but one or two little passes gives you just like the barest hint of color it has more of a silicone -y feel to it but I don't know that because my lips are almost 50 years old I'll be 50 in January I'm not sure how ultimately hydrating this is going to be for someone like me whose lips are on, you know, the wiser side of life <laughs> and I need just a little bit more overall moisture. I feel like this is perfect for the person who is a non-lipstick person. If you're looking for something to make your lips um, and your whole makeup look just a little bit more pulled together, but you're not really interested in something that it looks like lipstick, I feel like this would be perfect. Um, it comes in a lot of different shades. Let me see how many shades they make this in. It comes in six shades. This one is $29. I kind of want the red one. I don't know. This one's beautiful. And I did put on kind of like a peachier sort of blush to kind of go with this almost apricot-y, poppy sort of lip look here. But I really, I really like this. Now, I'm just hoping that I end up not having to deal with super dry lips. Um, and I feel like it's one of those that you don't need a mirror for. And you can just apply with wild abandon. This is going to live in my pocket for the rest of the day. This is really exciting for me. But I don't know if it's going to be hydrating enough. Because the older I get, the more my lips are like, help, hydration. <laughs> but that's just me. With the addition of this Bisou Balm from Violette French, let me show you the rest of these lipsticks. This one here is the shade Ri Ri in the Fenty Gloss Balm Stick. This is Max Maximalist Matte Lipstick in Ruby Woo. This is the Clinique Pop Satin Lipstick in Cola Pop. This right here is the Guerlain Rouge G in number 521. And this right here is the Bisou Balm Matte Sheer Lipstick from Violette French. And this one is in the shade Bon Bon Coquelicot. I mean, literally the least lipstick of all of them. It, it doesn't really even look like a lipstick. The rest of them really do. Um, I am so excited to keep these in rotation. These look really interesting. I know that I'm going to be keeping um, the Bisou Balm in my pocket for the rest of the day. I love this color. I like how it doesn't look too heavy or too much. It looks really easy and undone. I'm excited to keep these five lip products in rotation for the month of August and let you know at the end of the month which are the ones that really kind of instantly kind of rose to the top. Um, I think I have some ideas as to which ones are going to be faves, but I'm really curious to see, you know, what I habitually reach for. And it's usually one of those, where, like, if I'm always reaching for it, even without thinking about it, that's usually like, ooh, obviously a fave. I really would love to know if you've tried any of these. Did you get the reformulations of the MAC or the Clinique or the reformulation and repackaging of the Guerlain Rouge G. Have you tried this brand new one from Fenty? This is really interesting to me. And this is not new, but I think this shade is new. And I am really intrigued by the way that it feels. And I'm curious to see how it wears for the day. If you've tried any of these or you have other favorites that you're like, you know what you should try? Let me know in the comment section down below. I will link all of these in the description box or affiliate links. You can use them or not. If you do, it helps my channel, but you don't have to. And it won't cost you any extra if you do. But thank you so, so much for making the time to watch today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you again soon.